So you're going to need two end stops, the types that you use on 3D printers or CNC machines. You're going to need four of the small spacers and the screws per the specifications. These are three millimeter screws. This one's a little shorter and I'll explain why. And of course they're wiring, but for assembly you don't need this. So the easiest way to do this is really put your screws in first, then put in the washers. So I'll put this one on top. It goes like this. So then on the back, of course, you're going to put your nuts. Now, these happen to be hex, so I'll go ahead and tighten them just a little bit. Then for the bottom one, you basically want to do the same thing, but you're going to need to have this slide up because you have this groove here that that's where one of your nuts is going to go. You don't want it protruding out because otherwise it will hit here. So this one's going to be a little different from the perspective that it goes on from the other side. And it's going to go point it up like this. So what you're going to do is you're going to put one of your spacers. Put this one on like this. Just make sure your spacer stays on there. Put it on. Tie it a little bit from the other side. Don't tie it all the way. Line this up. Then you're going to take your screw, put it in from the other side in here. Now, right there, don't forget to put your spacer. Just realize that that's really out of focus. So let me do it from here. Hopefully you can see the space around there. Put your screw. Then you put your nut. And tiny. it. Now when, you, when you're doing the final tightening on these, just be careful that you don't over tighten them and crack this board. You just want them tight enough that they're going to stay in place. So this is going to be your closing end stop to sense that it's closed. And the top one here is the open end stop that will sense when it's all the way open. So that's it for assembling the end stops. I'm just going to go ahead and tighten them a little bit. And I'll start with mounting it onto the Arduino.